very snowy day. Fitz is already relaxing next to the radiator because it's really cold. Actually, it's quite warm in this room because we have a radiator. Lulu hiding and relaxing in her little log cabin. Piggies, you're all very much in snow mode. Nugget, Gatsby, Lulu, Lumi, and Fitz. In any case, today is going to be a really, really exciting day because we're getting ready to build our new guinea pig cage. We are... <laughs> Nugget sitting on top of Lulu. We are almost done with the designing process and we're getting ready to buy everything at the hardware store. Um, I'm just taking last measurements and I'm so excited. And we still need to decide on a few things. But other than that, we're just really, like we've made so much progress this week. I feel like having some sort of deadline really helps. I just wanna say this week, the uploading schedule will be a little bit messed up. I originally wanted to upload this video on a Thursday, but we're only making it to the hardware store on a Friday. So this video will go up on a Friday and then instead of a Saturday video, there will be a Sunday video. Hopefully a finished new cage. Okay, there is some disagreement on who gets to sit next to the radiator, but gets be one. Just smelling the hay where Fitz was sitting. Gatsby, what's the verdict? Okay, we'll get back to Gatsby later. Mm -hmm. But I'm so very excited. This is going to be a very special pig mess, right, Nugget? This is a very big pig mess build this time. It's Fitz's first pig mess and we're doing like the biggest thing during pig mess. Queen G saying pea flakes or it isn't going to happen. Really, really, really want to use the level again. Um, this one is mainly used as a storage space, which is kind of sad. So I'm just really excited to have a proper level again that I can set up with cute things um, and that hopefully the guinea pigs are going to make use of. Lumi got the lock cabin. Looking good, Lumi. Might have just given Lumi a pea flake. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where. I'm just currently measuring the plexiglass. So, just in case you're wondering, um, or just in case um, you remember the vlog where I talked about maybe using glass. There's little Lum Lum. It looks a little bit cleaner. Um, it is easier to clean. So I thought about, or rather my husband actually brought up using glass. Um, and many of you commented and said, maybe glass isn't such a good idea. So we definitely wanted to use security glass. So it would have been a little bit more sturdy than the plexiglass. The plexiglass just breaks super easily. But of course, one of the advantages of the plexiglass is that it doesn't shatter into a million pieces. Um, but we would have used security glass, so it also wouldn't have shattered. But um, we've actually decided against it. The main reason was that the security glass would have been super, super thick. Um, and I just didn't really want such a thick piece because then also um, we'd have to either take a little bit of space away from the guinea pigs, which I definitely don't want to do, um, or just make this... Um, space much thicker so that it actually fits into the U profiles. Um, so it just ended up being more complicated and I read all of your comments saying that, you know, <laughs> having a toddler at one point might not be the best thing when you use security glass. So we've actually decided against it. The only thing that we're doing differently is we're not going to glue them in, we're going to get U profiles. So you might remember that our very first fits this year. Our very first guinea pig cage actually had U profiles, which are just like these metal things that you put right here everywhere. And then the acrylic glass just slides right in um, and you can just easily remove the acrylic glass to clean it. So I'm just currently measuring. We at the moment have acrylic glass. Gatsby! Gatsby wants some attention. Gatsby, we all know you're the boss. Or maybe not, because Fitz is taking over. 
In any case, so the acrylic glass will probably be a little bit shorter than the 25 centimeters because one thing that is going to be a little bit different is this part will be a little bit bigger. So it's probably going to go here and then the space between the fleece liner and the acrylic glass is going to be a little bit bigger as well. Um, so the whole thing is going to be taller anyway. Um, so going from where the guinea pigs are standing to the um, end of the plexiglass is probably more than 25 centimeters, probably something like 26 or 20, probably 26 and a half centimeters. Um, and with the next cage, this, there is going to be a little bit more space as well. So it's going to be probably like two instead of one and a 1.5 centimeters. So um, me thinking about making the plexiglass one or two centimeters shorter anyway, plus the one centimeters that we're gaining around here will probably make the plexiglass be more like 21 centimeters, something like that. So um, yeah, so we have more than 25 centimeters currently here um, for the plexiglass and Nugget is barely able to put her paws on here. So I do want to change that. that. Nugget can more easily put her paws on the plexiglass because she loves doing that. Going from this cage now, I'd probably only want the plexiglass to go up till here, which would probably be the 25 centimeters that um, is recommended um, for a wall in the guinea pig cage. Because right now we have more because like where the guinea pigs are standing is not where the plexiglass is starting. So that is something that I'm currently considering and I need to get the measurements for that. And then we have to figure out mid-level or the mezzanine as one of you called it, which I really love, how high that is supposed to be. So I'm just currently taking measurements and thinking about that. So these are just some last minute decisions because we're going to the hardware store in the evening um, so in about two or three hours. So I'm just making some last minute changes or actually we're still like, we, we still have some, a little bit of planning to do, mainly the level and the wood in the bag. I'm walking around feeling free Thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide. Let's turn on a light. Just wanted to show you this is what we got at the hardware store. I'm actually quite surprised that it fits into the living room. I was fully expecting not to be able to walk into the living room, but I'm pleasantly surprised. So this is the OSB board. This is the base of the cage. Last time we built the cage, um, we had one OSB plate, one giant one. And we decided against it this time um, for the fact that the big uh, one wouldn't have fit into our car. And last time we rented one, which we didn't want to do today. Um, and also we plan on moving at one point. So we want to take the cage with us, obviously. And so we are going to build the uh, cage in a way that we are able to take it apart if we need to do that, this is why everything is normal size and not super size. The OSB board for the level. And then this is the regular timber that we're just using for two sides of the cage and part of the level. 
there is the punt liner. Um, I see comments very often from people um, where they're asking whether the guinea pig's pee can stay in the wood and we do have a protective layer. We have punt liner underneath the bedding and the fleece so that the wood doesn't get stained. Um, and then we got a bunch of smaller things in here. Um, I am going to film an in-depth video how we built this cage when we've actually built it. Give you our shopping list basically. Um, so yeah, this video will be probably be online in January. So um, I don't think it's going to be part of the Pigma series just because Pigma is more about the guinea pigs getting cool stuff. And then I'm just going to um, upload a how to build a wooden DIY cage in January. Excuse me, are you already trying to get out of the cage? Hello Nugget. No Gert. The internet sees you, Nugget. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm rambling, so it's time to wrap this up. Excuse me? So, yeah, I'm hoping you enjoy being taken along and See you guys next time! Bye! Little construction worker nugget. <laughs>